Okay. No boss. Alright, that's new. So what so what does this stage have it have to tell us? Oh I also like how they remove the uh Yeah, wow, okay. That was fast. But yeah, I like how they removed the death egg. Because, again, Sonic and Knuckles stories can't happen simultaneously. Because you don't see you don't see the death egg here because it's destroyed. You know? <laughs> okay, but anyways, Egg Rover is done. He's not gonna come back, he's dead. <laughs> and now we have to fight Mega Sonic. Now, for this first phase, it's basically just like how he was in Sonic Story. He does the same exact moves, basically. Um, but basically what I do is just glide into him like that and you should be good. And yeah, first phase done. But it's not over yet. Yeah, it, it, we have Doomsday Zone playing and the Master Emerald is somehow here. But um, oh! One thing I forgot to mention, actually, is that the uh, in Sonic and Knuckles standalone, when you start Knuckles, his, uh, his, there's a little cutscene that plays in Mushroom Hill, and that's not in Sonic and Knuck Sonic Three and Knuckles. Like the ending of Launch Base, kind of resembles that cutscene a little bit. Like the uh, it has the the little bomb explode things and all that, but yeah. Anyways, though, here we have a Super Mecha Sonic, basically, and he shoots out these energy spheres. He eventually shoots rings at you, and basically your only chance to get him is when he goes out of his super form and, like, jumps back on the Master Emerald. Um, but yeah, I, I'm actually really, I actually really like this concept. I kind of wish that, uh, we had, I, I kind of wish that Mecha Sonic's fights in this game, uh, were like, was it? I, I, well, what am I trying to say? Um, I kind of wish that Metal Sonic and CD kind of had boss fights like this, where it's like epic and fast, or well, not like uh, energetic and um, interesting, you know? Whereas the Sonic CD, it kind of had a crappy race. Like, it's not, not the worst thing ever, but I'm not a fan of the level design in, in the race. Okay, but here though, your only chance to hit him, I believe, is when he like goes, he goes out of his super form for like a split second or something or so, and that's that. He's done, and he's dead. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said. Knuckles and Sonic Fair and uh, Knuckles and Sonic and Knuckles is significantly shorter. So yeah, it didn't take as long as uh, it did with Sonic at all. Like, was it Lava Reef? Didn't even have a boss. Hidden Palace just ends in a second, really. And Sky Sanctuary is just the final boss. So yeah, it's definitely a lot shorter. We don't even have Doomsday or Death Egg, and. That's the end of the game. Like, yeah, like I said, Hyper Knuckles doesn't really add, like, anything special um, to the ending. It's, yeah, basically just the same thing. Just, you got the Super Emeralds, so whoop de doo But, yeah. Uh, I pretty much summed up my thoughts in the end of Sonic for, in Sonic's portion of the game. Uh, game, so I don't really have too much to add. Um, how was it? I don't know. I I guess I can say that oh, how Sonic Four uh, was kind of a letdown and not it didn't live up to Sonic Three and Knuckles in the slightest. But at the same time, though, I kind of want to save that for when I actually do Sonic Four. So yeah. I'm actually gonna just let you guys listen uh, listen to the credits uh, medley because I really don't have anything else to add. So yeah, I'll see you guys after the credits to show you guys some extras for this game. So I'll see you guys then.
Okay. <laughs> well, that's something, I guess. But, eh? And Sonic has your three knuckles. <laughs> yeah, that's basically that. So, two things I want to show off. Um, so, you may I remember like, me mentioning that you can get the Super Emeralds with Tails, and it's the only time when you'll, you'll get like a Super Form or whatever. You can't get Hyper Tails, so again, you have to work for this. Uh, but, yeah, basically it's just going to get try and get 50 rings. And I'm doing hit Angel Island because I just want a simple stage to do this on. Um, so let's just get to let's just get find a bonus a special stage ring and just get 50 rings by doing by doing that. All right. So you remember like Flickies being like uh, animals you save in the Sonic games? Well, you have a Flicky army now, and basically. Um, this basically is uh, just Tails destruction in a sense. Just like your Flicky army basically just homes in on all kinds of, basically all enemies. I think it even does it on bosses. Let's find out here. Okay, I'm not not gonna do anything. Yeah, it attacks the uh, it attacks bosses as well. Uh, basically, what is it? Yeah, it looks like you fly faster. You have the Flicky Army, you're invincible, and you're faster. Uh, did I say faster twice? Either way. Um, yeah, this is actually kind of broken. <laughs> you, you don't fly high, like, high or anything. But do you get tired still? Yeah, you still get tired. So, yeah. Even still, though, even with those uh, like hiccups that you still have, this is still pretty ridiculous. Like, okay, I'm not even going to do anything. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show off for Super Tails. It's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little Super form, and I kind of hope that they bring it back in a game or in, a, in the future, maybe. But you're probably wondering about this competition here. Well, it's basically the multiplayer mode for this game. Um, I don't know, if, I didn't really show it off, but um, in Sonic 2, there was this multiplayer mode where you went through uh, three different stages and you had a special special stage you can go through. And you basically just got to the end faster than the, you had to get to the end faster than, faster than your friend or whatever. And... Uh, you have like the different power-ups and stuff to help you and with this they basically made it so I didn't mean to do that to do that but yeah basically um, they made levels specific uh, specifically for um, the this multiplayer here and it actually controls a little bit differently from the main game like it feels a little bit more slippery. Like it, do they definitely didn't put as much time and in time into this as the as they did the main game. But it's actually it's a nice little bonus. Like they're, they're very short zones. Like I really don't even want to call them zones. Like they're really really short. You go for them around five five six times, and yeah, that's basically basically it. Um, it's not exactly. It's not well. It's that they're actually showing us all of, all of them. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have anyone to play them with right now. So it's just gonna be me alone. So yeah, they they aren't too like crazy imagine imaginative or uh, complex or whatever. But I honestly wouldn't mind seeing these stages being uh, like cr like was it? How do I use that? Was it? Um, I wouldn't mind seeing these uh, bonus, mi m like multiplayer stages, being create made into like full, full blown zones or whatever. I think that'll be pretty cool. Like seeing Asia Lake Zone in like was it an, a new game or something? That'll be pretty cool. 
basically just go for the same areas like five times and you win. So it's not anything too special, but hey. And now we have Endless Mine. I think there's Endless Mine in any way. Yeah, if this, is, if this is the stage I'm thinking of, this stage was a uh, remix in Classic City Escape in Generations, so... Yeah, that's an interesting little trivia for today. So... Yeah, there's not much to say about these. It's a pretty cool extra, but that's basically it, really. I don't really go back to these often, but if you want to, if you want to play, like, a, a 2D Sonic game with a friend and have a little competition going on, and what the hell was that? Okay. But, um, if you want to have some competition and you want to play a, a, a good 2D Sonic game, I guess this is, this is what you could try out. Like, it's not anything spectacular by any means, but hey, it's at least enjoyable. This actually reminds me of Gobi's Valley a little bit, just the way it's designed. Like, I don't know if just that's just me, but <laughs> just me and my banjo uh, crazy mind. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, Sonic & Knuckles... Only Sonic 3 has these stages. If you play Sonic & Knuckles alone, you won't have these. So, you'll only have the main game. And... Why does that keep happening for? <laughs> um, what is it? The stages... What, what am I saying? This is the only 2D Sonic game that has these, I believe. Like, uh, you won't find these in Sonic 4. You won't find these in the previous games. Like, Sonic 2 has its own version of multiplayer, but... This is the only... Oh, no! This is Endless Mine. This is Endless Mine. Okay. I was wrong. <laughs> I was... I, I really thought... Yeah, I... It felt like I was wrong, because it didn't look like Endless Mine. Yeah, I stay quiet though, because like, it really sounds like City Escape there, so that, that's like the reason why they remixed it in with sit, uh, classic City, City Escape, and it's actually a really nice touch. But yeah, this is the, this is the only uh, 2D Sonic game, to my knowledge, that has uh, multiplayer zones that are, that are specifically designed for multiplayer, so... I, again, I I'd like to see these um, as like full, fully, fully uh, designed zones. So, yeah, if you want ideas, Sega, just go back, look through these bone like multiplayer race, races in this game and make them actual zones. Like, but they I heard like they r started running out of ideas for like Sonic Four or whatever. But really. You can, you could really just make a full game, like, you could really just make episode 3 fully designed on just making these stages just full zones or whatever. Cause look, look at it, look, look. Daniel, I don't need to do, to do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick, what, any character, like... Yeah, you have five zones here, so that's... A decent amount like maybe you could uh, you probably would have you would have to make like a final zone or whatever but yeah you could just make just get bring back these stages and make them full zones it's not really that difficult 
Um, I don't know though. Um, anyways though, that's basically then the end of uh, this Sonic Fair Knuckles playthrough, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I believe next time we go into the Sonic series, we will we'll be playing the first main main series Son uh, 3D Sonic games, so yeah, it's time to go back to adventure, because um, you know, I actually did do a playthrough of that game a long time, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, um, so <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to play that game again and actually do a, a, a new LP for it, so yeah, hope you guys look forward to that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.